Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason, and this is the Honda Pilot. Follow me as I walk you around the outside and the inside of this SUV. Let's have some fun. Let me show you some of my favorite features on the Honda Pilot, starting with the front end. LED daytime running lights, LED low beams and high beams, fog lights and LED turn signals, along with this bold and aggressive front end with all this chrome. I mean, an SUV should be bold and aggressive, but it also should be safe. Honda has their safety suite of technologies, Honda Sensing built in, using behind me Honda H, a radar system, and a camera built right inside the windshield. Coming around the side, wait until you guys see these 20 inch alloy wheels. They look super, super nice. Coming up here, Honda keeps their mirrors that fold forward and backwards, and they have an integrated turn signal. For ease of use to get into the vehicle, Honda has their smart key. Of course, with the smart key in your pocket or your purse, you can unlock the doors by grabbing the door handle. You can lock the doors by pressing this button, but you can also do something else with this key. If you press and hold the unlock button twice, press it once, press it again and hold it, you'll see all the windows going down and the sunroof opens up to air out the vehicle on those hot summer days. Coming along the side, you'll see the roof rails all the way to the back. And then if you open up the fuel door, you'll see for ease and convenience, a capless fuel system. So what's under the hood? Honda has their 3.5 liter V6 with Earth Dreams technology, putting out 280 horsepower with all wheel drive. Honda calls the system their iVTM4, which is Intelligent Variable Torque Management. What that means is up to 70% of the torque going to the front wheels can be pushed to the rear. And of that, through torque vectoring, 100% of that can go to the left rear or the right rear tire based on demand. Honda continues the LEDs in the rear with LED taillights and brake lights. And the hatches open up electronically. So with this key in your pocket, you can simply kick underneath the rear bumper and the hatch automatically opens up. And now that the hatch is open, there's a unique safety feature I can show you guys. It's pinch protection. So if the trunk was shutting and someone's legs, arms, or fingers were in the way, the hatch will automatically open back up. And now that same trick I used to open up the hatch, if your hands are full, you can close the hatch hands-free. Watch this. Now, of course, there's other ways to open the hatch. You can use the key fob button. There's also a button right back here to press. But if you press and hold that button for a couple extra seconds, Watch what happens. It turns it into manual mode. So you can manually open and shut the hatch just in case there's a low overhang. And the button I press is right here. And right next to that button is another smaller button. This will actually lock all the doors so you can simply walk away from the car without having to walk around to the driver's side and pressing that door. Inside the vehicle, you see a lot of storage. So this compartment opens up here for some hidden storage. And this carpeted area is actually reversible, so you can make this a hard plastic area for wet or muddy items. This is actually storable, and it stores right in the bottom. And if you need even more space, these seats fold down in a 60-40 split. The 60% is here, and the 40% is right over here, revealing 109 cubic feet of space inside. And now, let's check out the inside. The Honda Pilot's very roomy. It also has an open air feeling, partially because of the sunroof above me, but mostly because of the huge panoramic roof behind me. All your controls are at your fingertips around the steering wheel. You have your audio and Bluetooth controls on your left hand side, and all your sensing controls on your right. And in front of you, a beautiful multicolored instrument cluster. This fully customizable infotainment system is easy to use. You can take your finger and go through whatever apps you'd like. So here's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, navigation on the main page. You can scroll through your trip computer, 
my Honda Music, which is actually eight gigs of storage space that takes the place of all those CDs that you have. You put all those CDs on a USB and you can download them right to the system. And to customize these are simple. Let's say you're an Apple user and you don't need the Android Auto app. You take your finger on the Android Auto button and just like your smartphone, you simply drag it to the last page and drop it right out of your way. You also have tri-zone climate control for the driver, the passenger, and the people in the rear. There's also an app called Cabin Control. With this app, people in the rear seats can control their own heating and air conditioning, what they want to listen on the audio system, and also, if they want to take a waypoint from their mobile device, they can send it right to the car's navigation. You have a wireless charger and one of the USBs up front, an electronic gear selector, a center console that opens up to a huge storage compartment, two cup holders that fit pretty much any size bottle of water, and they're specially designed to fit the handle in your cup holder. How convenient is that? All that technology, features, and safety, the Honda Pilot is a clear winner. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.